I think it's such an important thing for us to look and audit the circles that we surround ourselves, the circles that we fly with, if you will. You know, you had, you had been surrounded by different groups of people in different periods of time in your life. And that your environment obviously shapes who you are during those periods of time. And so I did hear this podcast that you did the other day about this eagle or chicken story. I wanted to mention uh, one thing because the same day that I listened to that podcast, uh, and you know, it's crazy how law of attraction and all these things, they all, all work. Uh, but I, I had listened to this sermon by a guy who's probably had one of the biggest influences on my life. His name was Erwin McManus. And it was on why falcons fly and chickens can't. So it's like right in line with your story about the chicken and the uh, eagle. We've been told that if you believe you're a falcon and act like a falcon, you'll be a falcon. But a lot of us act as if faith is God telling us chickens, we need to start acting like falcons. So we live in this perpetual frustration and disappointment. And then that video was the one about the falcon and chicken um, from Erwin McManus. He said, so you're a falcon and I'm a chicken. <laughs> And I said, we're both Falcons. Surround yourselves with people that are that are of the same mentality uh, and that that all are in the same mentality of all in and every every single aspect. When you become aware, so when you when you have that level of awareness to start looking at the people around you, to start looking at the environments that you're in and seeing that they're not for you, that they are not you know building you up, that they are are only tearing you down. And, and when you start to really grasp how serious it is how life or death these things are. But there's a difference between having empathy for those people and just conforming to that being just the way it is. You self-sabotage yourself in the process. Yeah, and, and you just realize very quickly that the majority of the people in the world are just playing small. Because those limitations that others put on us, on yourself, if not directly combated with action and seeking out other things will become the limitations that you put on yourself will become those self-imposed limitations. That's your lot in life. This idea that, well, I'm just a chicken and these are, and this is what chickens do. So that's just what I'm going to do. Do not allow others to influence what your abilities are, what your capabilities are. I think the easiest thing that you can do as step one is just change what you're allowing to come into your life change this you can, if you change the people i love like a practical thing like with your circle of friends if you can just take the most negative person in that group eliminate them and, and put one positive person in place of them the difference that will make over a short period of time is insane and I think that's an important thing to look at when you're auditing those friendships. So true. Is auditing who you've been through certain stages with those people. Because mm -hmm. it's not always going to be their fault. Like, oh, I don't want to hang out with Joe anymore because, you know, Joe's a bad influence. Well, maybe you were just a bad person when you used to hang out with Joe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now that you're not a bad person anymore, then maybe Joe, in your mind, is tied to you being a bad person. Yeah, right. Uh, so I think it's important because so many people we always hear, like, audit your circle, audit your circle. You know, take one negative person out, put one positive person in, like just this constant continual process. But the reality is like, these are human beings. Yeah. And you have to be way more, way more um, gentle, thoughtful and gentle mm -hmm. in going through that.